What's up, bros, and welcome to the 94th Lego Ninjago Fig Bar. Now today, I'm going to be showing some more Fortnite Ninjago customs that I've made, so let's get down to business. Now for the first custom in today's video, we have Sora. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from a random 501st clone trooper from Star Wars. Then, we're gonna take this build a minifigure Sora torso piece, and we also have some dual molded white and yellow arms with a golden hand, and this Sora arm with a golden hand. Then, we're gonna attach this dark blue armor piece, and then we're gonna attach this dark blue hoodie mold piece. Pop that on right there. Then we're gonna attach this Sora headpiece right there. And then for the last piece, we're gonna take the Sora upper hood slash hair combo piece. And then we have the completed custom. Next up, we're gonna build some accessories for Sora. So first up for her melee weapon, we're gonna take this golden cell with a hole in it, pop it onto this golden chainsaw piece, and we're gonna attach another one right there. Then we're gonna take this golden axe piece and pop it on right there, lock it in place, and on the bottom, we're gonna attach this golden arrow piece. Then we're gonna take these golden cells with holes in them and pop them on each side. Then we're going to attach two of these white fang pieces, and then we have the completed chainsaw. Well, it's also a chainsaw, but it also has like an axe on it, which just fell off, and there's also pickaxe on the top. It's still a fun little melee weapon that I decided to give this custom. And as for Sora's other accessory or weapon, she has this blaster that I made for her. Now, this thing isn't that special, so I'm not going to show a build tutorial. It's very simple to build. It only takes like five parts, but yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the second custom in today's video, we have Unagami. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Guavian trooper guard from Star Wars. We're going to attach this random torso piece from like lego city or something and we also have some black arms and some teal hands attached we're gonna take this upper cloth piece which is from macaw from monkey kid then we're gonna take this unagami headpiece and pop it onto the torso and then for the last piece we're gonna attach the unagami hair piece and then we have the completed custom and as for Unagami's accessories, I just gave him this random katana and this uninteresting pistol build. It's not a bad pistol build, it's just that it's very simple, so no tutorial needed for either of these accessories. So that's basically it for this Unagami custom, which kind of feels like a teen Unagami, but yeah, that's basically it. Now for the third custom in today's video, we have Cole. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from a random coal battles set. We're gonna take this island coal torso piece, except it's reversed, and we also have some sandy arms and some black hands attached. Then we're gonna take this random coal headpiece, which is used for every coal minifigure, and then we're gonna take this resistance trooper helmet from Star Wars and pop that on, and then we have the completed Cole custom. And next up for Cole's accessories, first up let's build his pickaxe. So first we're going to take this golden dragon hilt piece of course, and we're going to attach this black short bar piece. Then we're going to attach this golden piece to the top, and we're going to take some golden clip pieces and attach one on each side. Then we're going to take some golden pieces and pop them onto the golden clip pieces. Then we're going to take some black fang pieces and pop one on each side. And then we have the completed weapon, which is a gimmicky, very wide scythe or pickaxe and has the ability to fold up when not in use. So that's why this weapon is kind of useful. Like, oh, when Cole needs it, he can activate it like that. And 
bam, pickaxe is out. And as for his other weapon, we have a rifle right here that has the ability to flip out and when Cole is not using it, flip it back in. But yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the fourth custom in today's video, we have a stone warrior, I guess. Now, the legs of this Kyosto minifigure I think is from like a classic Lego theme. Then we're gonna attach this red belt piece. Then we're gonna take this Legacy Stone Warrior armor piece and we also have some dark silver arms and some black hands attached. Then we're gonna take this red armor piece and pop that on. On the back, we're gonna attach this red backpack piece right there. Then. We're going to take this stone warrior upper headpiece, we're going to attach this black samurai helmet piece, then we're going to take this black piece and pop that on the top, and then we're going to take this black binocular piece and pop that on right there. And then for the last piece, we're going to attach this dark gray rangefinder piece from Star Wars, and then we have the completed custom. Now for the Stone Warriors accessories, we have this random giant ass blade, and it's very simple to build, so I'm not going to show like a build tutorial or anything, but for the weapon, like the second weapon, I have to show a tutorial for this one since it's kind of complicated. So first up, we're going to take this black pistol piece and we're going to attach this dark red stuff with a hole in it. Then we're going to take this black piece and pop it on to the front like that. Then on the bottom we're going to attach this grey binocular piece and pop that on right there. Then we're going to attach this black piece and pop that on right there. And then we're going to take this other binocular piece. And then we have the completed blaster which has four barrels. Two on the top and two on the bottom. That's why this thing is very wacky but... I guess it's also lethal. Now for the fifth and last custom in today's video, we have Wildfire. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a random LEGO City Volcano Worker minifigure. Then we're gonna attach this Ronin torso piece except it's reversed and we have an orange arm with a dark red hand and this yellow arm with a dark red hand. Then. We're going to take this wildfire headpiece, we're going to attach this lower orange ninja rat piece, pop it onto the torso, and then for the last piece we're going to attach her hair. And then we have the completed wildfire custom. And now for wildfire's accessories, first up let's build her uh, pickaxe for her first weapon. We're going to take this golden piece and we're going to attach this golden stuff with a hole in it. Then we're gonna attach this golden bar piece, and we're gonna attach this golden clip piece. Then we're gonna take this Prime Empire controller piece and pop that to the top. And then for the last two pieces, we're of course gonna take some golden fang pieces and pop them on each side. And then we have the completed pickaxe for Wildfire. Very simple little weapon as you can see here. And now for her second accessory, this one is also very simple. We just have this small little flamethrower that I built and not including the flame pieces, this thing only uses three pieces so it's very simple to build, no need for a tutorial. I thought that since I made a flamethrower for my Fortnite Kai custom, I thought I'd make a flamethrower for Wildfire as well because it just fits so yeah that's basically it for this custom. But anyway that's basically it for the 94th Lego Ninjago Fit Barf. Now this is the fourth LEGO Ninjago Fortnite concept customs video that I've made. The past three I already showed like most of the ninja and this time I showed the last three. Sora, Cole, and Wildfire if you want to count her as a ninja and two more random Fortnite Ninjago customs that I came up with. So that's basically it for this sub-series. Don't expect like another Ninjago Fortnite gimmicky video. And of course, feel free to check out my other videos. I must make custom minifigures. Have a great day. Godspeed bros.